Some might say Intel's ARC graphics cards aren't too great at playing old games, but this got us thinking, is there any truth to this? And there's only one way to find out as we've tested our trusty RK750 in some older DirectX 9 games just to see how it gets on. And the whole discussion of ARC is bad in older games stems from its lack of hardware support for older APIs like DirectX 9. And when you pair this with the drivers at the time, yeah, at launch, it really was kind of rough in these older games on ARC graphics cards. So after two or so years of continuous driver support from Intel, can ARC graphics cards finally play older games without any issues? And to find out, we've tested them at 4K on the RK750. A GPU of this caliber should easily play these games at this resolution. With all testing being done in our 13700K testing PC, with all specs being listed in the description below, with my Amazon affiliate links, I do make a small kickback from these, but it does really help out the channel. The latest Arc driver has been used at the time of testing, and most importantly, Resizable Bar has been enabled. So, let's get straight into it. GTA 5 is up first, and this is uh, really not that great out of the box. We capped it to 90 FPS, but the RK750 couldn't reach that as it only got 82. And the frame time is certainly the worst part of this. It was all over the place. Like the 1% low is like 39, which is, is, is not that great. There is a fix we can do to GTA 4 to improve this performance and it's DXVK. Essentially what this does is it translates the DirectX 9 into Vulkan. Yeah, DXVK fixes up GTA 4 brilliantly. We're now hitting that cap and in fact, the frame rate is staying there because the 1% low is exactly the same as the average frame rate, meaning the frame time is, well, literally perfect. This is on GTA 4 and not the RK750 because it's an absolutely terrible port and you would even get problems on like an RTX 5090 with this game. That's how bad it is. But as long as you install DXVK, which is literally a couple of files, you will get flawless performance, even with a GPU like this at 4K. So that's what I recommend doing. Portal 2, there's literally no problems to speak of here. On the high preset with two times MSAA, you're getting perfectly fine performance at 4K. 250 plus on the average frame rate and 170 for the 1% loan. Tells me that the frame time is perfectly fine in this game and the performance is perfectly fine too. Black Ops 1 didn't necessarily have the best performance in the world. It looked like it was hard capped to around 91 FPS for some reason. Don't know what's going on there. But the 1% lows are looking okay at around 73. This isn't terrible performance and there weren't any glitches or artifacts or anything like that. I could play zombies perfectly fine, but I wish the frame time was slightly better, especially as the game was hard capped to around 91 FPS. But to be fair, it is playable and that's what matters. Going back over 20 years now with GTA San Andreas and uh, yeah, performance here was perfectly fine. 140 FPS plus on the average frame rate with 70 frames per second for the 1% low, which signifies a not so great 1% low. However, this game doesn't like frame rates of above 60 FPS as it does all weird things to the physics. It's just like an old game thing really. So I'd probably cap this to 60 FPS, but even then there is an enhanced edition now which probably doesn't suffer from these problems. There's no jank to speak of in Half-Life 2 as the average and the 1% lows are looking very good here. And then on the high preset with two times MSAA at 4K, Half-Life 2 looks absolutely brilliant. You're like, it's hard to believe that this is a 20 year old game. It, it looks so good. Fallout New Vegas is up next and uh, the performance here was just like really inconsistent is the best way I could put it. It defaulted to the ultra quality preset and the average frame rate was not too bad at 60 frames per second, but the problems lie in the 1% lows. The game was stuttering all over the place and I'm not sure if this is on the Arc GPU or just Fallout New Vegas itself. So let me know if you've been running into problems with Fallout New Vegas. I'm not too sure what this lies on, whether it's the Arc graphics card or just old Bethesda jank. But we're going to end off on a high with Left 4 Dead 2. The average and 1% low frame rates here are absolutely brilliant and you won't be getting any problems at all. If you had an LG OLED TV and you just wanted to relax and play some old classic Left 4 Dead 2, 
you'd have an absolutely brilliant gaming experience right here and you're getting enough performance with a solid frame time as well so yeah you can't really ask for more here so at least in the games that we've tested today i can fairly say that rk750 is virtually flawless across every single game we've tested yes there are some games where you will get that sort of older title jank like gta 4 which to be honest is a notoriously horrible port and we would have experienced very similar issues on a system like our rtx 3081 so i can't really take away any points from the rk750 here as it's not really its fault but yeah it's kind of a boring outcome for the testing because the rk750 is perfectly fine maybe a few games had not so great frame timing like gta san andreas but then again that game doesn't really like frame rates of above 60 frames per second from what i've seen especially the very old one not the new enhanced one so so is this the rk750's fault i'm not too sure about that one but the most important thing is the rk750 can play these games virtually fine even at a high resolution like 4k and if you were interested what this is like in newer sort of AAA titles i've got a video for that up there it's quite a bit old now so probably is due a revisit sometime soon anyways with that being said i'll catch you in the next one